If you're trying to improve your health, the best thing you can do is track your data. Nothing gets improved if you're not measuring it. So we built a template in Airtable that's going to help you manage your weight or whatever other metrics you're looking to track for your personal health. So if that's of interest, stick around and let's get into it. Hey, my name is Gareth Pronovost. I am the owner at Gap Consulting, where we help you to organize and automate your business and life. If that's of interest and you want to learn more about how we do that, check out our website. I'll include a link below. And don't miss our free Airtable crash course. It's going to get you up to speed quickly and easily using Airtable. Additionally, we are giving away the template that I'm demonstrating here. So be sure to check the links below to see uh, where you can download your copy of this. So I'm going to be going into detail about how to use this template, but again, probably best if you start off by downloading it first so that you have full blown access. So let's go ahead and jump into my screen here and take a look at what we have. It's pretty straightforward and simple. At a high level, we just have two different tables or sets of data in our database. We're looking at a profile table, and this is where we're going to collect whoever we're tracking data for. Now, if you're just tracking this data for yourself, that's fine. It's super easy. But if your whole family wants to use this database, then they can too. Everyone will need their own record, their own profile. So inside of profiles, let's take a quick look at all the different records that we have here, or all the different fields, I should say. You'll notice that most of them are hidden. We've got a lot of things working in the background that aren't really relevant to this, uh, but they are important in terms of producing the final output. But what we really want to know is, who is this person? Where are they now? What's their current status, that, that current picture, right? Also, if we want to see a report in terms of their total progress over time, we have access to that. And we can also see where they started and where they are currently. Now, I'll go into a little bit about how these things came about, but it's using that backend logic, right? So we have a link here to submissions where we're tracking things on a daily or ongoing basis. We are able to see when they started the program based on the dates in those submissions. That's our starting date roll up here. We have a total change where we're calculating the total either reduction or increase in weight. We can also see when their most recent submission was, how many days they've been in the program, a lot of different formulas running on the back end here. Now I say program, but really what I mean is what are you doing in order to improve your health? If that's exercise, if that's diet, whatever it is, great, but you do need to track these things in order to track your progress over time. Now let's see this button in action. Now quick caveat here, this is going to require that you are on the pro Airtable plan because we are going to use an app called the page designer app. When I click this button though, it opens up a report for this particular individual. So you can see the progress of this report. Let's go ahead and open this up into full screen. And so you can see that uh, this is the project. This is the progress for this particular person. This person started the program with some fake data, of course, back in November, they started with this weight. Their current weight is here. They had an average weekly loss of this many pounds per week. In total, this was the total reduction, right? So again, I'm doing this for weight loss, but you can do this for anything. If you're measuring your biceps or your hips or whatever the case may be, you can track that and adjust this template for yourself. Now let's pop out of here and take a look at our submissions really quickly. And we'll come back to these apps in a moment. But the submissions are pretty simple and straightforward. We're submitting data on behalf of a profile that is a person in our database. We're going to record a date of the submission that's here. We're also looking at the starting date. This of course is using a lookup field to look up when this person started the program. So this is going to be unique for each profile. Also, and again, this is where I'm tracking weight. You might track a different metric, but we're having a numeric input every time this person is recording progress. So in this case, we're tracking weight and you know, just on a daily basis. We also have some formulas here that are looking up year and week. We have the ability to upload a picture and I'll get to this in a moment. And we're also running a calculation here on this uh, field to determine which of the submissions was the first date submitted. So let's take a quick look at how you can use this and group by this. So here I have, a this is grouped by profile. Let me go ahead and ungroup this by 
the year. And we can see that it's sorted in reverse chronological order, or rather the most recent submission is here at the top. So we can very easily see by one person, you know, or one person's progress over time here. Let's go ahead and now flip into our second view. This of course is something you'll also have access to and look at the weight submission. One thing we definitely need to add to this form is a picture. And this is how we're gonna track the progress of people over time. So again, if I were to flip back into the fake data I put together here for myself, if we scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see that with my first submission, I was sure to include a picture of what I looked like at that time. Okay, so then moving forward, as we go through the, you know, the process and we're, we're seeing improvements, well, we wanna track that so that it can show up on our lovely page designer here, right? We don't wanna just see our starting picture, but we wanna see our progress. So let's go ahead and put in a, uh, just a submission here. We do this by opening up the URL for the form that we've created, and we can select the profile that we want to uh, connect to. In this case, there's only one person in this database, but that might not be the case for you. Record a date of submission, let's say that was today, record my weight of as of today, and I can attach a picture if I'd like. Let me go ahead and select a file to upload here, and I'll just pull in something from my desktop. And it'll take a moment to get that saved up, and I can go ahead and upload that and submit this form. Now, of course, that data is received in our database, right? So I can flip back into my profile here, and we see now that I have a new record. This one was submitted here today for 1227 in the amount or in the weight of 183 pounds. And you'll see that this was instantly updated over here. Now let's walk through how your automations work. And quick side note, if you've downloaded this template, first you'll need to create a copy for yourself. And then after you've created that copy, you'll need to make sure that you turn on your automations. Now this, these are already set and built for you, but once you download your template, these will not default to the on position. So make sure to turn them on. But these automations are going to take whatever pictures, whatever the most recent picture you've submitted is back on your submission, and it's going to upload it here to your overall profile. This one's taking just a moment to buffer, but you can see that it's already available in our report. So when we run that report, that, that picture is already showing up here. You'll also notice that this has changed because previously it was showing a different amount of weight lost and that amount has increased. Now, one other thing to look at is your average over time. And so this needs to be mapped to a particular view. So really quickly, this is one more change you're gonna have to make for your personal template. Go into submissions and on your personal view here, apply a filter where the profile connected is a particular name probably not my name, whatever your name is or whoever you wanna create this chart for. You can create multiple versions of this chart and point them towards different folks. And each one of these charts is gonna look only at one particular profile and by the default settings in this chart, it's gonna show you what the average weight was by week. And so you can see that for this example data I plugged in here, you know, the early, the early data, I was showing an average of 210 pounds, but as we get over here towards the end, my average week weight was 185. So not necessarily looking at such a granular level that we're looking day by day, but by grouping it by week, we can really see what kind of progress we've made. Anyhow, download this template, check it out for yourself and make whatever improvements you need to track whatever you're trying to track and I hope that this helps you reach whatever your health goals are in the new year. As always, I hope you found that to be very helpful. If you did and you'd like to learn more, swing on by our website and check out all the resources we've put together. We have a free Airtable crash course that will get you up to speed quickly and easily in Airtable. And we also offer some paid services, including hourly consultations with our experts. We have some online group coaching programs and courses. And for the very advanced needs, we can build a bespoke project for you from scratch. So swing on by, and I look forward to connecting with you soon.